Welcome back to another look at Grid Autosport, and this was a game that I came into with the intention of, yeah, I'm going to really enjoy this, and I felt that I did for the most part, but there were certain things that could have been better. First off, if you're playing on PC, the HD texture pack is 4.3 gigs in size, and is such an improvement. There are certain aspects about the game, graphics-wise, that could use an improvement, such as, for example, the in-car view, I mean, it's one of the things I mentioned in the overview for the game. Hey, we have in-car view, it's returned triumphantly. But it's lacking. It looks like a mod, if I'm honest. It's just a static, very blurry kind of image. It looks like you're driving without contact lenses in. It's pretty terrible. The damage model is a little underwhelming at times, but it's kind of cool. I do like that damage is in games like this. I do believe it adds an aspect to it, but I believe it could use some work or just some upgrading. It feels like it's just kind of been the same since the old grid games, and it really just feels like if you're going to keep progressing your engine, then why not progress your damage a bit as well? They may have actually increased it a little bit in this, but it doesn't really feel like it. But the cars themselves, moving away from graphics, they're actually pretty awesome. The physics and the way that they handle, like, th this is something that I really enjoyed about Grid 1. Grid 2, I felt it was lacking somewhat, but Autosport really kind of brings it back. Cars handle the way that you would expect them to handle. You actually have to drive sensibly to be able to keep it on a road, as you saw a minute ago. I just flipped out sideways by touching the gravel at high speed. And that's great. They're a little inconsistent at times. There were some moments where I thought my car was going to understeer or oversteer, and instead it did the exact opposite. But for the most part, for the majority, the physics and handling are spot on. My only problem with them is that it felt like the AI cars were sticking to the road like tar. If I was trying to harass them and push them off a little bit, it just, it wouldn't work. And I was having some real problems in career mode with trying to get past drivers. I felt I had to be a little too aggressive. But moving on to career mode, I felt that it was a system that could have used some work, but it was also a step in the right direction. It felt like it was kind of a step forward and a step back at the same time. Like the feet couldn't work out exactly what they were trying to achieve. I mean, it's got incredible variation in my mind. You've got touring cars, GT, single seaters, supercars, muscle cars, open wheels. You've got fun events like Drift, Endurance, Time Attack, Destruction Derby. Endurance was one I really liked because you have to be able to manage your tires in Endurance. And that was quite awesome. That to me was great. I really enjoyed career mode. But I didn't enjoy all of it. See, now here's the problem with career mode in my mind. It lacks freedom. The career mode that I remember from Grid is the whole, you know, you start in a garage, you have an old guy helping you out, you get a car, you get a teammate, and you go off and you essentially try to prove to the world that you are a good driver. It seems that Autosport has kind of skipped that a little bit. It's just like, okay, so we're going to hook you up with Monster and Intel and these other teams, and you're just going to jump into the cars and you're going to help them out in these races. Cool. That's great. But it feels like everything is kind of done for you. You have some customization over the cars, depending on what you're racing in, depending on things like, you know, being able to set your suspension hardness and that kind of customization. But there's nothing along the lines of creating a team, picking your sponsors, uh, choosing what your car looks like. There's none of that customization in the single player. I mean, it could be hidden all the way at the top once you've completed everything. So like, congratulations, now go do it on your own. But that's so far and away behind a wall that the majority of people aren't going to get there, I feel. The one thing that it annoyed me the most about was the lack of being able to pick my partner. This was something that was picked for you. And this is in a game where they're hyping up the AI, you know, each driver has their own personality. They have aggression, awareness, skill, reactions, consistency. If that's the case, why am I not able to pick the guy that I want to work with? Even when I was joining a team, I wasn't able to pick between the two guys that were on the team. At least I couldn't find a way to be able to do that. I was given one of them and I would replace another, you know? 
itself is great in this. It really adds personality to the races and it really adds variation. Drivers that are aggressive may end up taking someone out or if they lack consistency you may see them at the front in one race and then the back of the next. It's just kind of all over the place and it really just kind of... It's great. It means that things are going differently every time. Of course if you want customization it's there. It's in the multiplayer. And that means that you have issues with it, such as, you know, your mileage might vary depending on your dick bag ratio in multiplayer games and how many drivers are going to be assholes. But apart from that, it's there. So, covering everything, you know, pros and cons of Grid Autosport. What do we got in the pros column? Well, if you're a fan of Grid and Toka, this may be what you're looking for. You know, it gets it back. The driving experience is great. The AI can add a nice random element to each race. And the multiple style of events means that there's going to be something here for everyone. You're going to find something you love. Drift, for me, is fantastic, and so is Endurance. But, of course, no game comes without faults. Grid Auto Sport, the damage and the graphics are lacking, in my opinion. They could have been better than they are. The lack of freedom in career mode is a big minus for me. And some events can just drag on, in my opinion. Some are like 12 races long. And that for an event, you just end up running the same things over and over. So there you go. Hopefully this helps you decide whether or not you actually want to buy Grid Autosport. And if you have any questions, queries or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you want to actually have a race online with me or something, then just add me on Steam. It's not that hard. But for myself and from everyone else at LT3, have a great week and we will catch you for the next video. Peace.